In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your velvet turn from this to this using this. Hi, I'm Carl, this is Cleaning How To, and today I'm gonna to show you how to clean velvet properly. So we're gonna make this chair look a whole lot happier. It's really dirty, it's really dirty. It's covered in food and beverage stains, and we're gonna spend um, a little bit of time making, making this chair nice again. So everything you need to clean your velvet upholstery should be coming up on the screen now. I'm also gonna drop it down in the video description. Please hit the like button on your way down to read it. Once you're set up, Let's get cleaning. So 95% of what's in this chair can be gotten out dry. That's why we're gonna use stiff brushes. I'm gonna use a blunt knife if needs be, and maybe a duck build scissors. I haven't gotten quite that far yet, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna need it, but I do have it on hand. That sounds a little bit drastic, but it's gonna be just used in a very gentle action to break out any really hard food residues from the fiber. So let's get to it. Okay, the chair looks significantly better. I've spent about 20 minutes grooming and vacuuming. Obviously, I've not included all of that in the video because you'd be really bored, but it looks a hell of a lot cleaner. What I'm left with is basically food spills, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up a mild cleaning agent which will deal with those. The mixture is made of dish soap, rubbing alcohol, and water. So you're gonna need a spray bottle that you can put 500 mils of water in, one quarter of a teaspoon of dish soap, no more than that. Don't put in a lot of dish soap. It's not gonna make it any better, and it will leave the fabric full of suds and attract more dirt. Then two spoons of rubbing alcohol if you have it. It's not absolutely necessary, but it will help. And a cotton towel. I've got my mix that I made up earlier. All I'm gonna do is a couple of sprays onto the cotton towel, and then I'm gonna wipe over the velvet. Now the idea is that you're transferring the dirt out to the cotton towel, not driving it into the velvet with moisture. That's working really, really well here. The velvet is responding really, really well to the clean. As you can see, there's quite a lot of soil coming out of the chair. Um, but I'll keep doing this until I'm no longer getting transfer into my cotton towels. And once I'm no longer getting transfer, I'm ready to just groom. Pro tip, the backside of a blunt knife is really good for grooming velvet. Just don't apply too much pressure, as if you were buttering toast. That's gonna get the pile in a nice uniform direction. But also, if you've introduced any moisture to the velvet, it's really, really good for making the pile stand correctly after cleaning. That's the main problem with velvet cleaning is people don't groom and dry the velvet, which means that the pile distorts and it looks unsightly. It actually looks horrible. Guys, I'm really happy. This chair has turned out exceptionally well. It's from a really busy commercial environment in Dublin city centre and whilst I knew I was going to be able to get it clean, I'd usually be rinse extracting this with specialist cleaning equipment, but obviously if I'm doing a tutorial for how to clean a velvet chair at home, you guys won't have that. So it was towels, and the towels took out 
all that dirt and each one of them looks like that but the chair looks fantastic. <laughs>